Welcome back to HLN. Our continuing coverage tragedy unfolding at an elementary school, Southwest Connecticut, Sandy Hook Elementary, Newtown, Connecticut. And you're talking about small town America here, population less than 30,000, and a school K through four, that's kindergarten through fourth grade. So you're talking ages maybe four to 10 years old. The most innocent among us having to deal with this. An affiliate, WTNH, had a chance to talk to a child and parents. Let's listen to that. Joining me is the Wasson family. We have Alexis, who is in third grade. Alexis, you told me that you were sitting in class this morning and you saw a lot of police. Tell me, tell me how you found out what was going on. Um, well, we found like there was all these people and we found out because there was we like right near the window in our classroom and like we saw like police officers and we heard them on the roof and in our building it was everybody crying scared yeah. wanting their parents to come get them yeah they were and then some people were even like this they kind of were felt they got a stomach ache did you hear any gunshots or anything like that? Um, well, police officers, like, they were, they were kind of, because there's police officers, like, right out the door, like, trying to find the guy. Are you okay right now? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh-huh. All right. How excited were you to see Dad? Very excited. <laughs> Dad, you look more nice uh, than her. I yes, I was. That. It was uh, shocking. I got the call at work this morning, and... Uh, I can't believe a small town like this would ever have anything like this happen. And to be in an elementary school, that's unheard of. 3K through 4? Yes. And you said there were about 600 kids in there? Yes. Uh, roughly around 600. What was going through your mind? I mean, you immediately think of your child. Yes, uh, I was pretty uh, shaken up. Didn't know, uh, you know, who, who or what happened. I knew there were shooters in the building or a shooter. Um, just worried about who else is left in the building at this time. Mom, what do you think about this scene here in Newtown? It doesn't even seem real. It just does not seem like it's even possible. It's like you, you know, you read it in the paper or see it in the news. You're like, oh my God, that poor family. And then you have it, something happen so close to home. It's like, I think I'm still in shock, to be honest with you. I'm just like, okay, let's go get her cell phone activated right now. <laughs> now, News 8, we have exclusive video from what we've been told of a suspect in cuffs walking away. Does this put you at ease at all? Okay, we got some new information right there at the end. Again, that's from WTNH, an affiliate, saying they believe they saw a suspect in cuffs being walked away. CNN reporting, our, our sister network, that a shooter shot and killed on the scene don't know if turned the gun on himself or was shot by police two weapons recovered as well and then our HLN law enforcement analyst Mike Brooks reporting that Connecticut police potentially looking for a purple van maybe others trying to get away we're still gathering this for you folks tragedy unfolding at an elementary school in Connecticut we're getting more information it's a very fluid situation we'll have it for you in just a moment stay